So before I start this video, there has been a little bit of confusion to me about the name of one of the isopods we're talking about today. So one of them that I know the name is the Peascaber Dalmatian Morph. The other one is Peascaber, what I bought as Dairy Cow Morph, but when I've looked into it, it's also known as Moo Cow Morph. And I do believe that the owners of isopods online um, made a morph that they named Moo Cow. So I'm gonna assume that P. Scaber cow morph is moo cow, um, and it's been confused with P. Lavis dairy cow in the common name, and that's why both come out. So I think that it's P. Scaber moo cow is the correct term. If I am wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments and explain why, um, but we're just gonna refer to them as peace gave her cows today, because it doesn't matter whether it's dairy cow or moo cow, I will, I will find out afterwards for you guys in the comments or a little bit more research. So we're just gonna refer to those as the cows, and then of course the Dalmatians as Dalmatians. And I do need to remember to sit on my hands after I've done my creepy crawly part. Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Right, I promised you last time I'm gonna sit on my hands, so let me just get one last itch out of the way. Whoa, right then, so we're gonna talk about two different morphs of P. Scaber today, sitting on my hands, there we go. Um, the cows and of course the Dalmatian. Um, and the reason I've put both of these together is because I prefer to talk about the cows. I don't really care too much about the Dalmatian morph, so I've kind of put them both into the same video. So positives then, as with all isopods, we've got to jump straight on appearance. And to me, the P. Scaber cows look way better than the P. Lavis dairy cows. There is something just cuter about these guys. The whites seem a bit more white, the blacks seem a bit more black, the patches just seem more bold to me. So if I were gonna ever choose between Lavis Dairy Cow and Skaber Moo Cow or Dairy Cow, I would go for Skaber. I kept Dairy Cows for years, Lavis Dairy Cows for years, and then when I got these I thought, eh, they're probably very similar, except in, in shape and obviously species. But when I open them, I kind of fell in love with them. So the appearance of the cows is definitely a massive positive on these isopods. They're also very quick. They're a lot more active, in my opinion, than Lavis dairy cows. When you lift up the bark and they all run, it's so much more fun to look at. They're a little bit more chaotic almost in their movements and that to me is a big positive. I like isopods that are either on show a lot or are a little bit more frantic, a little bit more mischievous in the way they move. So for me, the cows have an amazing appearance and that is their biggest positive. They also do breed very readily and very well. Um, they are a great beginner species, so that's another good positive. The Dalmatians are also good breeders. The Dalmatians are, well, they're, they're Scaber too. They're very easy to care for. They're very cheap to buy, um, along with the cows as well. They're both cheap to buy. Dalmatians, I don't think that their look is anywhere near as cool as the cows though. So. I'm gonna move straight to the negatives then and we'll start with the Dalmatians leading on from what we just spoke about, which is the look. I just don't care personally for the look of Dalmatians that much. So I was expecting a lot more kind of um, bolder, more noticeable black spots on their bodies. Now, don't get me wrong, I can understand why some keepers would like the morph. Um, it's not it's not horrible for me to look at it's just not my type I thought if they had bigger spots bigger bigger black spots on that whiter body kind of like the Dalmatian as in the dog it would definitely interest me but these tiny little specks they almost just look 
granulated or dirty in my opinion. So for me personally, the Dalmatian appearance just doesn't quite cut it for my personal preference. But don't let me put you guys off if what you're seeing on the screen is something that you like the look of. Now I don't have any appearance negatives when it comes to the cows, um, but we're gonna have the same negatives that we get in a lot of isopods, and that is the fact that they do overbreed. So they're really, really quick to breed, and you will have to know what to do with your mankai, with your babies when they grow up, because you'll get a population explosion. So in a lot of cases, slower breeding isopods are actually a lot better because you spend a lot more time with them. They slowly breed over time, and then as the years pass, you're really enjoying your accomplishments, and you're probably more likely to be willing to constantly upgrade homes, maybe even get display enclosures for them. Or if you're a keeper that only keeps one or two species, then an overpopulation isn't too much of an issue as long as you've got the space for a larger home or multiple colonies. Um, but it is a negative if you don't have that time or that space um, for large colonies. But other than that, I can't really think of any other negatives, at least with the cows, and of course with the Dalmatians it was just appearance for my personal preference. So then we're going to move on to alternative information, and a lot of times in alternative information we talk about whether I am keeping or selling that species, and they are gone. Both species are gone. Now the Dalmatians, I already knew off the top of my bat they are not the ones for me, so they went straight in to go for sale at the BTS. The cows, however, took a lot more thinking time from me, and I was very, very 50-50 on the fence with them. I did want to keep them, but I kept having to remind myself of the space that I had. I kept having to remind myself of the types of isopod that I'm trying to move forward with, and these beginner basic isopods are not on that list, and that is purely for space reasons. If I had huge amount of space and a lot more time, I would have kept a majority of the species that I've ended up having to sell on. Um, but alas, they have gone and I do kind of miss my cows already. So yeah, not gonna be opening that up and watching them scarper around anymore. But it was for the right reasons. It was for the right reasons. They were there for me to learn. I've learned from them to go on to the more advanced species and you can't just keep everything guys like I didn't realize quite how many animals I owned until it came time for packing some up to sell on and I was like wow and even though I sold a lot of things I've come back and I've still got a lot of things so it had to be done it had to be done um, and thank you to those that um, did take those species on for me so that's going to be the end of today's video. I don't think there's very many isopod ones left to go, and I know they're not for everybody, but this is also created for me to look back on for all the species that I did own before I had to sell some off, and it, it helps me learn where I've got in my journey. So if later down the line I succeed in breeding some very difficult, challenging isopods, I can go back to this and remember the moment that I made the space for those. So it's almost like a personal little diary for me too. So that's why I'm going to continue to put them out, even if you guys aren't so interested in them. But thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.